Have you ever wanted to create stunning professional clothing for your characters in Blender, but found the process of simulation and rigging to be slow and frustrating? Well, the days of fighting with cloth physics and complicated modeling are over. Divine Cut version 4.0 is here, and it's a complete evolution into a professional-grade cloth simulation suite. This massive update is designed to simplify and accelerate your entire workflow, giving you total control over the creation of digital clothing. The video will cover the core workflow, new version 4.0 features, the Divine Print extension, and a huge huge asset pack. The link to Divine Cut is down in the description below if you want to pick it up. If you're ready to master professional cloth creation, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get creative. Before we get into what's new, let's quickly cover the core foundation of Divine Cut for anyone who hasn't seen it before. The process is simple. You position a few key points and circles on a character's body, sculpt adjustments to match your character's shape, and the cloth is generated. This core functionality is what makes the tool so powerful, and with the new version, it's even better. Let's dive into all the incredible new features in version 4.0. First, you'll immediately notice a massive expansion of garment types. Divine Cut now has an incredibly wide variety of generators, including dresses, gowns, crop tops, vests, and skirts, as well as new jumpsuit, camisole, open shirts, and blazers for even more professional looks. The new UI is much more visual, with icons and a grid view replacing the old text list, making selection faster and more intuitive. The generation speed is about 30% faster across all generators, and clothes now auto-generate with basic materials, which is a great quality of life improvement. Divine Cut also remembers your point positions for a session, so you don't have to reposition them if you're generating multiple tops on the same character. And as soon as the clothes are generated, the tool automatically enters sculpt mode and equips the elastic grab brush for immediate modifications. One of the biggest new features in version 4.0 is the layer collision system. This solves Blender's lack of a native collision matrix, allowing you to comfortably stack clothing on top of each other and simulate them without fighting with glitches or intersections. Divine Cut even sorts the layers for you automatically, so you can be confident that your clothes will simulate correctly, even with multiple garments. And for fine-tuning your simulations, you can now use Convert to Keys. This converts your simulation to a shape key, allowing you to edit the simulation, remove glitches, or even prepare it for a game engine. This is a pro-level feature that gives you unprecedented control over your final simulation, and the best part is that you can always restore the original simulation if you need to. If you're already finding this tool as game-changing as I am, don't forget you can find the link to Divine cut in the description below. Now let's talk about some of the most impressive and unique new features in version 4.0. The interactive mode is an experimental feature that allows for real-time cloth manipulation, similar to Marvelous Designer. You can enable the mode, press play on the timeline, and use the G key to drag and move the cloth points to get exactly the shape and drape you want. This gives you a new level of creative freedom and control that's unlike anything else in Blender. You also have the ability to generate a high-res duplicate. This is a game-changing, non-destructive workflow where your original cloth handles the physics, but the high-res duplicate can be freely edited with holes, seams, or other complex geometry without affecting the simulation. This is the perfect solution for adding intricate details to your clothes without breaking any of the physics. And finally, for perfect clothing and shoes, you can now use Adjust Body to quickly sculpt a character to fit their shoes, and then generate a shoe collider to prevent the cloth from glitching into them during a simulation. Now let's give some attention to a powerful extension for Divine Cut, Divine Print. It's an add-on that allows you to easily stamp images, logos, and textures onto your cloth objects with a simple workflow. The new version 4.0 update for Divine Print introduces some great improvements, like front-only spray, which prevents spraying on the back of the cloth by default, and a new materialize option that converts the spray to a material with the original color. This gives you more control, and it makes it easier to get a professional result. And as you've seen, many of the accessories and materials we've shown come from the huge Zane Studios asset pack, which includes a new jean and tartan materials, a scarf, a pack of boots, earrings, and bags that can be used with the Divine Cut accessories feature. So there you have it. Divine Cut version 4.0 is packed with game-changing features that make creating digital clothing easier and more powerful than ever before. It's a professional-grade solution that's perfect for both artists who are just starting out and those who want to take their character art to the next level with less work. If you're ready to upgrade your character, to art, you can find the links to Divine Cut, Divine Print, and the Zane Studios asset pack down in the description below. These are affiliate links, and your purchase helps not only support our channel, but also the developers who worked hard on this tool. What's the one feature of Divine Cut version 4.0 you're most excited to try? Let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel, and of course, as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.